Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Hi. thank you so much for having oh, me. Today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and sharing with us. Um, I'm going to post this tomorrow because usually it's in the afternoon, but I know you work, you work your business, you work your full-time job and your time and your kids and your family, then I highly appreciate that you took a little bit of your time to share with the team. Um, oh, no. Let's. I just want to let all the team know that if I'm looking like that is because I'm taking notes. I take notes and that's why you can see me like that. But everything that Megan is going to share today is something that I highly recommend pay attention, take notes because could change the business. Then everything is yours, mama. Thank all right. You. My name is Megan Funk, and I started Sensi in 2016 on a $49 join special. Um, it was something that I had always been on the fence about. And I think when you talk to um, people about joining, that's something to always consider is perhaps it's something that they've always been thinking about, but nobody has ever asked them. And maybe they just don't feel like they would be good enough for it. So um, I did that in 2016. Um, in 2018, I earned the med cruise trip, but at that time they had different levels in which you can earn. And one of the levels that I earned was a no flight credit. So it was going to cost me between eight and $900 in order to do that flight. At that point in time, um, my kids were pretty young. Now they're 10 and 11. Um, and it just didn't make sense financially for us to do that. I didn't anticipate earning it. So I wasn't stashing away, um, funds in order to be able to fly, uh, last year when we had, um, Sensi family reunion, we did a virtual retreat and at that retreat was, um, AD Mitchell and, um, Sarah Speechley. Um, Sarah Speechley is now a shining star. Adie Mitchell was a previous shining star. So we had some of those gals and some people that had been with the company for a long time that really taught in that retreat. That was actually where I was able to meet Carmen. And she was one of the ones who shouted Sensi spirit at the airport. Uh, airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, they said, how are we going to find them? We're just going to shout Sensi Spirit. So between Carmen and Jojo, they were very welcoming. Um, it was something, a group that I had gone that I had never met any of these girls before. I had known them very briefly online for a very brief moment when Sarah popped into my inbox and invited me to come along. Um, at that, um, Ashley, um, who you guys got to speak to last week, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah. She was there as well. And she helped co-host. Um, so after we watched everything, they gave the um, information for fall incentive. And um, I sat down with Ashley and Sarah and worked on a plan to try to earn director in November of this last year. So it's November, 2021. Um, I helped lead my team of 17 people towards director numbers. And we fell short at just $500 from that um, director piece. But because we had worked so hard, I did get to go to Alaska. So Ashley and I went to Alaska this year and- um, With all expenses paid? Um, for myself, yes. And then we bought my mom in so that she could go with me and be my plus one. So- um, I think Sensi is a wonderful thing because it can really bless your life. It can take you places that you didn't think you would go. I don't know that my mom would have had the chance to take this trip with me um, had I not been able to earn it for myself. So that was an amazing opportunity. Um, I also want people to know if you are from small areas, I only have 500 people in the town that I live in. And a lot of these girls on my team live in my same town and are running successful businesses as well. So I think it just goes to say that even though you think that you have the same networks, you don't. And just because somebody might host a party for me, they might not host it for one of my other girls and vice versa. You know, they might attend her party, but they would never say, oh, I'll host with Megan. You know, they get kind of scared. Um, one of the things that I have started using more and more in my business recently is Canva. Um, there is a free version and there is a paid version. I currently have the paid version because I use it for multiple businesses. Um, I also like some of the features that come along with it. I would recommend if you are brand new to Canva to start out either in a free trial, if you're trying to do the pro 
or to start out with the free version and really get a feel for it and see if it's something that you're going to use in your business before you make the full investment. And then from there, you can either choose if you want month to month, or you can choose if you want that yearly subscription. Two of my favorite ways to use Canva on a weekly basis are to use a Wednesday post called Witch Warmer in which people help style a room. One of the things about working with Sunsea, it is a home fragrance company, but it is also very design based because of the amount of warmers that we have and the personal touches in which they can give to each room. Plus, if anybody's like me, perhaps they loved playing interior designer when they were little, cutting things out of magazines and, you know, posting those per perfect pictures of, you know, what you wanted your home to look like one day. Um, so with that, I think we will jump over to Canva and just kind of do a brief overview. And then I will show you guys how to intentionally use that post doing a witch warmer. All right. I'm going to share my screen. Perfect. Can you see that? Yes. All right. So as a very um, beginner in here, um, right, you can see right here is my team. So I actually have, because of the pro, you can actually have team people too. So I don't know if that's a version that um, Carmen has looked at at all as far as adding team members. No, but I have, I have a, the, the pro, but I don't know how that works. Um, so you just click on it, I uh -huh. think and then you can um, invite people into that team and you would just send them a link. So if it's something that maybe they wanted to try out and see, plus they can see the templates that you put in the um, team folders. Okay. that I didn't know about that. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't let me click there. So um, a very new person might want to click on something like templates. Um, templates are going to go in here and then you can kind of see what you're looking for. The one that I use most is under the social media. The nice thing about this is they're going to format them for you. So you don't have to decide how big the post is going to be. So Facebook posts is the one that I use most frequently. So you can click on something like that. Say you just wanted something simple to welcome maybe a new team member. You can find one of these right here, like this yellow, hello August is really easy to do. And then you're just going to click right here at customize template. And say we are going to welcome a new team player. You're just going to swipe right over that text. We're just going to pretend like our person's name is Amy. So we wrote here, all we did was change that right there. All right, along here is your toolbar that you can use. You can go into uploads, you can go into elements. Uploads is something that you would use. Say, say we wanted to add Amy's picture to this post. So we could go in the uploads and we can find it. Another way, say this is our friend Amy. And we can just move it. You can pull right here on the sides and resize. And now we have a super easy, simple post to welcome Amy to our team that's personalized. You can tag it in your stories. Um, you can, this one is for Facebook posts, so it's going to be better formatted for that, but you can use them in stories and stuff as well, or you can go and redesign one that is stories. One thing you want to remember when you're designing in Canva is that you will need the Sensi logo if you have Sensi stuff on here. So say we had this as well, just for, oh, sometimes you got to play around with it for your different layers. So if we have this on here, right here, because this is a Sensi warmer, we need to make sure that we would put independent Sensi consultant or a logo. So if you click on text, you can add a little bit of text here at the bottom. And just like that, in using the independent Sensi consultant words are easiest for me because sometimes the logo has a few more restrictions as far as the spacing and different things that have to be around it. So right there would be a compliant post as far as welcoming Amy to our team. And if you want to play with font, have you ever played with the fonts, Carmen? Mm, nope. So this is really cool. So you see how it's in this text right here? Uh-huh. You click effects mm. and then you go down here. One of my favorite ones to use is this one called splice. 
and watch how it changes Ooh. that. And then if you clicked in here, say you wanted it to match the yellow flowers. See how that's fun? And so what is the name of that one? Slide the... Uh... I that go, one I text effects and then we choose the we went to so we clicked on our text we clicked effects and then mm -hmm. I used splice and that's going to give you that two different things and then you can play with the color right here okay or you know you can play with the different ones and do lift maybe and then play with it and see how it kind of mm, okay out. now like a shadow mm-hmm Or there's another one. There's neon right there. That's Again, neat. playing with it. And if you wanted to curve it and then change the curve. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just push the delete key. And then we can pull again on these. Another, um, let's see, let me move my... Right here, position is another great one to use when I am doing more complicated things like we do in the next one with doing the witch warmer. Sometimes using that position is going to give you the forward and backwards. So say, so see how she's behind the text right now. Mm. But if we wanted her in front of it for some reason, or if we accidentally put her in front of it and we said that doesn't make sense, then we can use position to get her back. Say we wanted it, you know, like. That. And the letters will keep there. Nice. Okay. Yep. Yep. So if you can't find something that you know that you already put on it, you can switch to the background. <clears throat> the other thing that I like is you, you can share your templates as well. So say this was a, something that maybe I wanted to share with in the team page, then I could click share and I can go to more. And I can click template. So you always want to. So right here. So see, this is where my team is at. So then I can publish the template in Teams. Mm. It's there. So then when anybody. When you check, you press chair. And then you put the template there in. Yep. I went chair. like this. And oh. then I went template, template. And then it says add template to a folder. And it tells the, the different ones. So I want to put it in my projects. You know, where do I want to put this at? Okay. So. I also, um, do you ever put QR codes on things? Yeah. So on this one, it's really nice because it has a QR code. And so say we wanted to make something from the, let's see, I got to move my toolbar again to the bottom. All right. So say we wanted to go over and just grab a link to something. So say mm -hmm. like our join. It's like, where'd they move it to? There we go. Mm -hmm. So you can just click your join tab and then you're going to right click or since I'm on a Mac, I double click with my fingers and I click copy. So mm -hmm. that's going to get the link. And then we're going to go back to this guy. And we are going to post that URL right there. So mm -hmm. see, we have something in there about join. And then we're going to go like that. And it's going to populate it just like that for us, which is super fun. Did you know that now you can name that QR code? I didn't because they all, okay. they just put them over here, right? Okay. Yes. Go to that one that you put in the left side, in the left side. And put touch the three the three uh huh, and on the top where the pencil is, you can rename it and you can put uh for example join link. Perfect. So you would just do it right here, right? Uh -huh. And then join link. Perfect, and then you don't have to recreate it each time. You don't have to recreate it anymore. Now we touching. Now you touch that, and oh, is not it didn't save it. I wonder if it's this one up here. So this is our actual join link. So we'll put it up there since it's mm -hmm. easier. So we push enter. Mm -hmm. Successfully renamed, it says. Yeah. There we go. Now we can see that. Yeah. Perfect. Then now every time that I create a QR code, then I re I name it. That way I don't have to re redo it again and again and again. And then if we search in our up, up and 
just like that. And oh, I go. didn't see, I didn't know that. Oh, you're the best. Yeah. So as you're naming things, that's even better because I mean, as you see, the more that you're playing in here, the more like the deeper that, you know, your uploads can be. <laughs> and so then it becomes kind of crazy to try to find them later. The other thing is, is if you find something that you don't need anymore, like I don't need this picture of my husband's thing. So I can just move it to the trash and then it goes away. Okay. So sometimes I'll go through and clean them out, especially if it's new season and then I'm not using, um, old stuff. Okay. And then to get back to where you are. So you have, your know, your templates and here's the one we we're playing with, but let's go back to the regular. Get rid of that. All right. So the years, here's all of the recent designs. Mm -hmm. So here's the witch warmer that I had done the other day, but we're going to start from blank so we can show you what it looks like and building it from the very bottom to the top. Okay. Awesome. You ready for that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here with paper and my notebook. Perfect. So we're just going to pick a blank Facebook post. And then we, we go to home and go to Facebook uh, template. Yep. So I just at the very front and I picked Facebook post. Okay. Because that's what I'm going to use because I use most of my business in Facebook. Okay. Then I'm going to think about what I want to have on this. So something that I want to intentionally do with my witch warmer this week is I want to feature warmers on here that currently have the bundle. So the bundles that we have right this month are the letterboard warmer, the shining light warmer, and the why are you blushing? So those are the ones that we're going to use for the picking the warmer of the room. So I have to think about a room that would potentially go with those. And I think that I want to do something fall. So I can either go over here into elements because this is where all your pictures are going to live that are on here. Mm -hmm. And so what if we type something like fall living room? Let's see if we find something that we like in here. How about this guy right here? I right? Like Except he has a candle. Do we want to do that or not? Mm, no. Unless we can take that out and put our warmer there. We could, and then we could put the warmers around the room. I've never done one like that, but that might be kind of fun. So let's just grab the sides and enlarge them. Because the one that one of the warmers will look pretty there. It would. Like the why are you blushing or even the shining light, which is the ones that we're going to do. The shining light, I think. So the way that I found to do this, that's a lot easier than trying to necessarily upload all the time, is if you go over to your page and you type in shining light, as long as you can spell. Mm -hmm. And then you click on this guy right here. Now, again, we're going to copy and paste him. So we are going to get that. We're going to copy our image. Okay. We're going to pop back over here to our graphic that we're making and get that click again. And there is our shining light. Ooh, I didn't know that. Wow. I know. Isn't that way better than having to go to upload and do all the things? Yeah, because I was going to ask you how you, how you, uh, how, how you polish the picture. And look at that. No, I think you need to put it a little bit higher because you need to cover something that is in the back, the, the circle. Like that. And then if we wanted to make it look designed a little bit more, how about if we went like this? Oh, so you can hit the undo button if you do something like that. So we're just going to put maybe something in front of it, like it was sitting in the tray. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow. So it looks like it was really in that room now, right? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's just do one more because I like sets of three, not sets of two. I think you have to rotate it. Yep. And just like um, Carmen said, you can use the rotate tool as well. So now see how that matches in that fall room pretty well. Mm -hmm. Then we need two more warmers. So we are going to get our letter board. Oops, we don't want to do that. That's going to search in. That's going to change our URL. So let's yeah. Okay. And see what's in here. Ooh, how about that one right there? Yeah. And the okay. window in the back. So let's try copy image and let's see what happens. Now this guy, mm. we are going to paste him maybe like up here because we can just label kind of our different warmers. And it's going to be a little bit different on this one because of the way that we put this one right here, but it will turn out fine. Sometimes you got to trust the process, right? Just like when the lady's, you know, doing your hair for a fancy thing and she rats it all up and makes it look kind of crazy. And yeah, you know, by the time you get done, it looks much better. So again, we're just using that copy and paste and we can either choose one of these ones up here, which I think we'll do for this one. Or if there was the things on the bottom where mm -hmm. it has then see snapshots, you can choose from those as well. So again, just copy image. Copy image. I just learned something new. And then paste. And if you notice, it uploads it into your uploads over here too. So if you needed to use those again, then you can. Okay. So this one, I don't really like them floating. So I might. Can you put one. it on top of that? Like on this? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. But I like the pumpkins. Even just putting it here, I guess, would be good. All right. We'll go to our text and we'll type in which warmer. And like I said, this is a great post in order to use like in your VIP groups or on your business page or sometimes even on your regular profile to get people talking. And then you can pick like a background color. Maybe we want to do that split text where, we, you know, we were doing the effect. <coughs> just the splice and see how it does the gray. But if I don't want gray, then I can come and pick, you know, like maybe we like that yellow because it feels kind of fall like, right? Because people are starting to decorate their homes for fall. And then we are going to make sure I just label my warmers really, really simple. So I'm going to grab some more text. What do you think about adding the climber and glow? The glimmer and glow? Yeah. Like then you have three in the left and one in the tray. Yep. We could do that. All because right. the, one, the other one is more expensive than if they choose the... Is 65. Yeah. All right. So you said glimmer and glow, right? Yeah. Glimmer and glow. Oh. This that guy. One. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab him. All right, so now we give them four choices, but when they pick the ones that are on special this month, it's going to give us an opportunity to say, hey, do you know that you can get that for this and you can get free bars with it? Mm -hmm. Here's the free bars that you can get. The other thing I like to do is when they comment in the post is I like to comment other pictures like this one right here maybe down below so they can see, oh, that's a great pick. Check out the way that this one was styled. 
And again, they just feel like they're buying or they're playing into your designer. It's not necessarily, you know, buy this, please. Mm -hmm. Except now we might, since we put that one up there, we'll put these in order. All right, put that guy down there. I'm going to fix this. There we go. So I just shortened the picture. All right. So now let's get our letters in order and get them so that we can see them. And then do you remember what we have to do? So we stay in compliance. We have to put independent sensory consultant. Yep, absolutely. Or logo it. And this one, I think independent sensory consultant is better. All right, let's find a color that maybe makes them all. Maybe we'll do a splice on them so they really stand out for those choices. So again, effects, splice. And the more you play with this, the easier it is to see things. Um, there is also a fabulous group, which we can link in the video or in the um, host of this video okay. and link. It's called Canva boss babes. And there are tons of templates in which people have made things like this. And then you can just use the template and then edit it to what you need to. All right, let's do and that. And it's only for consultants. Correct. All right, let's make it big so we can see what we're typing. All right, so you can either play with this to resize it, and then you're just grabbing it. You gotta find the mover guy sometimes. Sometimes I have to click off and then click back on. So if I click it and then hold it is how I'm able to move it around. Okay. And you can resize your font up here, or you can do like I was doing below. So, you know, 12 seems like it's kind of Too small. low for this, so. Let's move Carmen again so we can get to where we need to. And we can just stretch it a little bit bigger. That's cute. Now it's labeled. It's a fun post that makes people want to interact. And like I said, as they start picking this and somebody comments below D, then you can comment back to her with maybe one that's in a different styled room or um, this B one. What if you commented back and showed somebody um, it with a different bulb color? And, you know, just commenting back and letting them know that's a great choice. Or um, I love D because right now you can get that, you can get, what is it, four or five free bars with it? Four. You can choose from three bundles, four bars. Then the person is saving $24 with that bundle. There you go. So that's all information that this interactive post gives you to be able to use in the bottom of it because, it's something that you've set out intentionally. Um, sometimes if there are certain different warmers that maybe people haven't seen yet, um, this is also a fun way um, to let them see those. Something that we cannot do is use any sense uh, Disney picture to do a, a stage like this. Correct. You can't use the NFL ones either. Because okay. anything that's a licensed product, you're not going to want to use. So if you see the warmers that we use today, were not licensed products. So they're you know, all Sensi related because yeah. Sensi have the rights. Absolutely. So then, if we wanted to share this warmer and we wanted to be able to use it on our Facebook post, um, you can share directly to here. I don't really use that button because it makes me nervous. I always download mine. Okay. Um, different people do different things. Um, what if you wanted to even put this in print, then you could download it in, in order to print it and you could print these and stick them in orders. You know, mm -hmm. that might be kind of a fun thing. And then maybe you even put something on the back of it that says, you know, text me to be entered to this month's drawing. Okay. Text me which warmer you love to be entered because then that gives you again, another opportunity to have conversation with them. Perhaps they've fallen in love with one of these warmers that you were able to show them. And instead of just seeing it in the catalog, they're actually able to envision it more in their home. Also, now that you create that, if you are going to share it, something important, if you're sharing one of your creation is share it as a temple 
template link. Then people cannot mess up your original picture, but they can edit it and doesn't affect your picture. Or if it's one that they don't want, you don't want people to edit and you just want to share this as is, you can too download it and then share that PNG directly to Facebook. So then they're not able to edit it all. But if perhaps it's a newsletter or something, you know, that they're going to want to edit, then you definitely want to use that template link. That's cute. That's a good idea. Add it to your news. Uh, oh, sensing right newsletter. there. Invite I, member. Then is that's how I create the team? Let's see what it says. How do you so teams of team more? Team? So it looks like if you have a team of more than seven or more than five people, then it costs seven dollars a month. Otherwise, you can click change, and you know maybe there's somebody that's not using it anymore or that has upgraded their own account. So. That's right there where you do it. I already have five people listed, but otherwise you would enter the persons. Okay. So then if I haven't created the team yet, then I go to home invite, or if they already have a canvas, I can add it. Yeah. Yeah. It might be right here in the invite members. If they already have a Canva, I'm not sure what it looks like. Okay. Um, one thing that is cool in here is because, so, you know, we had sent that one right there where we did the welcome Amy. So now it's in there. So all of these posts right here are, te are different ones that, you know, have either been shared with me or that I have created. And so my team can take a look at those and put them in there. And then they can also share too, you know, somebody found some stuff on some bring back, bring back my bar. And so that, mm -hmm. that was shared in there. Um, as you can see right here, here's the Kimberly Pulido one that she has shared. Um, Sarah has a new one for fall parties that even, you know, dropping this in our team would be a good idea because then it would make it easy for people to find. Okay. So don't be afraid. I think in this, you know, to play around with different things. Um, one thing that I have noticed for print that, um, we have done because we have made some stuff for our city, um, that was not sensor related, but we did big posters. And in order to do those posters, sometimes you're going to want to take your, um, so it's called your pixel. So right here in this custom size, you might find out what the what the pixels right here in the bottom. So you can see are right there, the Facebook cover. Mm -hmm. So if for some reason you download it and it looks blurry, just take that and times both numbers by two or times both numbers by three, because it's going to keep your dimensions the same, but it's going to increase so that um, when you blow it up, you know, it doesn't get blurry. So that's kind of a trick that I've learned, um, especially, like I said, if you're printing products um, and they're going to be larger products, um, such as, you know, eight by tens or poster size stuff. Say you mm -hmm. wanted to print posters for, you know, a um, event. Okay. And in order to have that, that would be a I great haven't event. done that yet. I'm doing a lot of, uh, for the happy mails. I'm using Canva a lot for my happy mails. In order to and put the different. Season. And to be honest, right now, I'm, because I didn't know some of the tricks that you just shared me, uh, I was using the template and edit some templates and, and doing a copy of the template that people share. That way I don't mess with anybody's template and then yep. edit it. Yep. So some of these are templates and some of these are ones that I have, you know, created on my own. Um, after you create your your copy, did you delete the other one? Um, you can't. Like if you grab those ones from the Canva Boss Babes page, you can't um like see, I don't think it'll let me. Oh, that one it will let me. But sometimes it won't let you delete like the originals, but you can move them into like a different folder. Okay. So you can go move to folder. And then if you're looking in something instead of otherwise, it leaves everything in your recent designs that you've ever done. And it just puts the ones at the top. So this was the top sales post. This is the other one that I get um, on the director call. They give the ones from last month mm -hmm. as far as um, what you know was popular. One thing on this is you see that it does have the Scooby-Doo stuff. I can list the name, but I cannot list, I cannot <laughs> show a picture of the product. Mm -hmm. So this was the trending products, which is really the top products that they had for last week. And then this 
month I decided, or this week I decided to do something different with a trending sense and actually describe them. Because sometimes I think when people read through a scent, they're like, oh, that sounds amazing. I think you better put that one in my next order, especially if they're not able to smell it right away. So okay. this, usually my Monday posts that I do after that director call, after we kind of get the list of what, you know, was going. Um, and then Wednesdays, I like to do the witch warmer and then using them. Um, sometimes I'll batch them. And so do a whole bunch of them, you know, say at once, because you could just take, go back to your, you know, which warmer post. Mm, I'll see where did they put that probably in projects. Yep. So another thing that's cool that you can do with this is if you click this duplicate page right here, mm -hmm. now we have the very same thing. So say I wanted to batch post it and I wanted a different picture. Then I can just delete this out and then pick a new picture and pick new warmers and leave the witch warmer or, mm. you know, if I just wanted a different living room, you know, then I could go up here and go, let's just say we want a living room in general. Can you put a classroom? Oh yeah. Let's try that. Because I was thinking that. Yeah. All right. Let's... <laughs> that one there we go so let's just play with this guy and then see how everything disappeared so that's when we're going to use that arrange thing we're going to click position and we're going to send just keep clicking backward until everything comes up mm. and now we have a classroom just like that and you know then we could move this the sky down and you know sometimes too these you can shorten up the things so they're easier to move around because it just posts them big see that one too oh come on Undo. see and even if he's off screen i can grab him back and put him over and say we wanted that guy maybe on this desk. And then if you want to get rid of these guys, you can always use that trash can. Let's see, we don't like, let's see. So again, if you want to leave that there, we can find our ranges position. Oh, too far back. I don't want that leaf. So sometimes you can see it gets a little bit tricky and you do have to kind of play around. But now we have those same warmers in the classroom. And we were able to keep them on and continue to do it. And then again, you could duplicate again and then choose your next setting and change That's your warmer. That's awesome. I need to play with that a little bit more. Absolutely. And then um, one thing that I was thinking about too with my witch warmer is we had learned in a different one to um, link our projects. So like the glimmer and grow, glow, we could copy that, right? And copy mm -hmm. the link and go back to witch warmer. If you use this little guy right here, it's going to mm -hmm. link and you're going to paste it in there and then click enter. So now um, depending on how we share this, I don't know if we'd have to share it as a website. I haven't really played with it yes. in format. You have to share it as a website. That way they can link it because okay. then you will share the, you will, the, the address. Yep. And instead of the picture, you are sharing the address when they, when they open the address, then they will see the picture with the link. And they'll get to click on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah but you could drag them. I didn't know if I linked them and then downloaded it as a picture, if it would still click on things. Can you like touch the A and link it? Because I think will be better. I want to show something. Uh, oh, let me find our link. Where'd he go? There he go is. Go to link. Uh -huh. Sorry, the same one. Okay. Can you see the underline under the A? Yep. It that means mean that is linked. Yep. And then that then works really good when we're using these other guys, like your, um, what did you guys call them? Clickable parties? 
Uh-huh. Click and go, I think is what you're calling them, right? Yep. On these ones right here. That one. So this one, wherever you see the underlying things is where they can click into it. And when you want to edit a template that is now yours, you go and touch that, that is link, like underline, and you will see if you touch, uh-huh, and then now you can edit, erase the old one and create the new one, and that way. So you just click delete like that, and then you would go over to your own page and grab your link and copy and paste it in. Mm -hmm. And like I said, Sarah has one of these that's all ready for fall. So we can probably, you know, drop that on the page as well. So people can kind of get started. I haven't um, seen that one yet. The one that's out I have. Yeah, she has one that's like this. That's, um, I think she called it a click and go party. Okay. So. I need to look at it. But this is a very addictive um program in it's which cool. you can lots of time down that rabbit hole clicking yeah. and around but you know know that too you can make copies and so see we could share this design too if we wanted and then I can either copy the link but no if we're going to do this as a share design then somebody else is going to be able to edit right over the top what we did and so then, if you're sharing it with them if you know that they're just using it to download their own copy then that's fine but if you think at all that they're going to change it you want to make sure that you're done with it mm -hmm. because it will ruin all the work that you did especially on that's why you share as a template never share if you're going to share something then template yep so and so see right now this so if i wanted my team to be able to do it then I can say they can edit it, they can comment, or how about if we just let them view it? Okay, awesome. Well, girl, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing uh, your knowledge. I learned something new today. I'm not good at creating my own, my own yet, but I'm working on that too. But at least it's something that you can edit and put your information and create your own thing with your pictures and everything. Absolutely. Then you can share it before. Yep. So if you have sweet pictures of Lola and you want to put her and um, kind of go with your branding, what's really nice is um, the more that you're editing those, they become more you. And it's mm -hmm. not something that I'm just sharing because I wouldn't necessarily share a picture of Lola, although she's very cute. <laughs> One but of my you own. have your own baby then you can we share do. your own yeah we have three of them so oh my god yeah. yeah well I'm not taking any more time thank you again for your time uh so Megan, very well. we appreciate I appreciate it and I hope my team will appreciate it tomorrow or when they see it I hope they comment and if they have any question please feel free um tomorrow when I place it I'm going to put the address of the website that they can join and look for templates to and use it as a tool too absolutely thank you love you and take care bye, -bye. bye. let me stop the recording <laughs>